ECDL Advanced, Excel, Lesson 4, Split a Window. So you may be wondering, where's Lesson 1, 2 and 3? So, Lesson 1 is on the topic of spreadsheet design. And in there is discussed structure, purpose, audience and other considerations. Please read through that and take in the ideas that are being conveyed. Lesson 2 gives details of techniques that we're going to be learning during the course of this module. And then Lesson 3 is a revision exercise where there's nine questions. You should attempt those without looking at the back of the guide. And then, when you want to assess your level of understanding, you can then look at the back of the guide and check your answers to see that hopefully they're correct. OK, we're now moving on to section 2, formatting. In this section, we're going to be discussing splitting windows, conditional formatting, formatting tables, paste special, transposing data, and copying and moving sheets. The first of those is split windows, so let's start section 4, split a window. Split is similar to freeze panes, except that the individual panes can be scrolled to show different information in each pane. I've opened the workbook Retail. A split is created at an active cell position using the ribbon. If we click on cell F8 to make it the active cell, then View, and then Split. We'll now find that the worksheet is split into four areas, all displaying the same worksheet. If we move the active cell to the right and up a few cells using the arrow keys, and see the effect. We now have four scroll bars, one over here, one here, one here, and one here. Use the four scroll bars to display different parts of the worksheet to create four different views of the same worksheet. This could actually be very useful if using a large worksheet. Let's have a little go. OK. I think we're back to where we were now. The split can be moved by clicking on the split lines and dragging them when you get a double arrow pointer, as so. Drag the vertical split to the left to display only two columns in the left panes. Drag the horizontal split so that it's back where we were, just under row 7. To remove the split, click the split button again. Next. Make A5 the active cell, so just click in it, and split the window. Making a split in any cell in column A, or row 1, splits the window into two parts rather than four. If we now scroll down the lower screen to display row 14 just below row 4. The turnover and net profit are now viewed together. An alternative and quicker method to remove a split is to double click on a split line. Let's remove the horizontal split. OK, that's the end of lesson four. Please leave the workbook retail open for the next lesson. And in the next lesson, lesson five, we're going to be discussing conditional formatting. OK, I look forward to seeing you then.